welcome back to the channel. I have a new two-in-one vacuum to show you today. It's from Comfier. It's a stick vacuum that converts to a handbag. It's very versatile. Stay tuned to find out more. This is the Comfier two-in-one cordless Psychonic vacuum. And it charges with this uh, AC adapter. It's a cordless vac. Makes that very convenient. And so you mount this plate onto the wall and then you just slip the vacuum in here to store it. So you can put this in your closet or um, behind the door somewhere where it's convenient. Okay, I've enlisted some help here. Um, so we're going to take a look at the box quickly. Um, she's kind of holding it closed because it opens up pops open at the top. Uh, you can see the picture of the two-in-one upholstery brush. I'll show you that in a second. The wall-mounted dock and the crevice and dusting nozzle. And there's just some basic information about the, the two-speed control. Cyclone with HEPA filter inside. Um, outlet sponge filter and so on. Let's see, is there anything on the other side of the box? Um, just some nice photographs. Okay, now inside the box, um, we have the, uh, what, did the, what did they call that? The crevice, no, that's not the crevice tool. What is that called? The upholstery oh, brush. Oh, the two-in-one upholstery brush. Okay, and the crevice tool. And then there's the, um, the docking station, I guess you'd call it, with the, the outlet. And as far as the instruction manual, that, um, is, is that all English? Or is that English on one side? It's all English. Okay. So it has the basic instructions of how to put the vacuum together, which actually was just popping some pieces on. You, you did it. Was it, what, it take you about two minutes? Yeah. Yeah. And, um... Specs, um, information as to how you clean the vacuum, uh, the dust filter, and so on. So, and is there any information on that user manual about a, an email address or phone number or anywhere? Do you see that? Yes, there's the support all the way in the back. Okay, so what is it, an email address? It's an email address, and it comes with a 12-month limited warranty. Okay, that's good to know. All right, so now we'll take a closer look at the vacuum. So I don't know if I mentioned this, that it, uh, it is very lightweight. It weighs only 4.23 pounds. So here's the handle. At the top, you have the power button. And as it's on, this is your battery gauge right here. When I turn it on again, it will light up and it'll show that it's a mostly full battery. And as it goes down, the um, level will go down as well. Also, while it's charging, that helps too to notice how uh, charged it is. Oh, and I should mention that it delivers high power for 24 minutes, according to the manufacturer, or 45 minutes in the eco mode or the slower mode. So 24 to 45 minutes of use for each charge. So here you'll see a plus sign. This is because the power with this vacuum is adjustable. It ranges from low to high, and I will demonstrate that for you real quick. So turning it on. So 
it's not real. It's not really noisy. I mean, there's, I don't think there's such thing as a quiet vacuum. Um, I'm going to put some crackers, so we see how those, how the vacuum picks those up. So I've got. And one thing about this vacuum is it doesn't just stand up because it's a stick vacuum and it's meant to be hung to be charged. So you have to kind of either lay it on the floor or lean it up against something. Now, I've got some crackers, <laughs> Ritz, and some saltines. And we'll see how the vacuum does with these. Oh, pretty big chunks here that I've got. if you've never used a light on a vacuum that it's something that is unnecessary but um, really I wouldn't want to be without one now because I do have another vacuum that I use that has a light on the front and it's amazing even in full daylight what you can see with the, the light on the front of the vacuum that you don't see in most primarily things like little hairs um, capture that. okay so I've got this area and there's some lint in here, and I want to see if you can tell on the camera how well you can see the little hairs. Um, it's picking up the um, hairs and the dust really well. Sure that that showed well enough in the camera, but um, the light in the front makes things visible that you just wouldn't see even in even in full daylight, like little hairs and dust and so on. So I really, really like the light. Okay, another thing that I like about this vacuum is that it's so flexible. You can go up all the way under the bed, up under furniture. Let me show you how that works. Way up on the bed. Now I've had other vacuums that are flexible in this manner, but they're bulkier. So if you have furniture, let's see if we can move the camera over this way and show. Over here, uh, you don't have as much height underneath. But this still manages to get under there. And not all vacuums will do that. Okay, I'm going to take this bottom piece off and try something different. This slips off. I'm going to put an attachment on and um, see if I can vacuum the curtains. So 
use this. Now what I most often use this for would be vents. I have vents on the middle level, I'm on the upper level of the house now, but vents that are up on the wall that are very difficult to clean. And this. You can get cobwebs. All right, so a better look at how to um, take off attachments. The first big piece right here, from here to here, you are able to take on and off. So all you have to do is push the red knob down here and pull. Like that. It was a little tricky at first because I was unsure what direction to pull, but figured it out. It's not that hard. This, of course, is your piece. Um, and then when it comes to charging, I recommend just charging this piece and taking this off. So this piece down here actually is detachable as well. So all you have to do is push down and pull off. At the bottom, you can uh, put on any of the other attachments that come with the vacuum. And now, of course, um, you can keep this uh, put it. You can keep this in and put all the other attachments on for an extendable arm to reach high places. Or you can, of course, put the attachments on the end here and have a very hands-on type of vacuum experience. To empty the dustbin, you don't have to take it out, but you only have to push this button right here. And this pops right up, and you are able to empty it. And you can see we have quite a bit collected. <laughs> After just, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes of use. So here's how to reach the HEPA filter. All you have to do is push this button, take this off, and right here is the filter. Very simple and easy to take out. And it is washable. Here's the bottom vacuum part. At the front you have your little lights that help you uh, see where fur or hair is that you can easily pick up. It has wheels and as you can see it has already caught some stuff since the use that we have done in the video. So this is the comfier. 2-in-1 stick back. Um, it has iconic power, it's bagless, it's cordless. And I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of it uh, because it's very versatile. Uh, I don't like being stuck with a cord moving around all the time. This is good, quick and easy. I, lo I love the light in the front and I haven't seen a light on a, on a smaller stick back like this before. I don't know, they may be available, but um, that is a really great feature. It's not just one of these things that um, is extra that you really don't need. It comes in very, very handy. I like the um, the fact that it will fold, lie down flat so you can get it up under furniture. So there are a lot of things that I do like about this vacuum. And uh, I will update the description section below with any information um, if I have any issues or problems, I'll update it there. So please check the description section. And also there are links to our social media. Thanks for watching.